The Wacken Museum showcases many exhibits of history and art, but it's also home to a huge collection of images that tell thousands of stories of our area's history. It's the Wacken Museum's Photo Archives in Bellingham. For a city the size of Bellingham, this is very unique. Uh, currently we have about 183,000 images cataloged and probably another, I'd say at least 50,000 that need to be cataloged. So we have a backlog that uh, will go on for many years. And, and what is the process there? Is there a crew of volunteers that you're overseeing? There are. I have a, a small army of volunteers and interns. I uh, couldn't do it without them. Uh, Western provides interns as well as Whatcom Community College and of course community volunteers. Photo archives at the Whatcom Museum are overseen by Jeff Jewell, who's made it his job to uncover and preserve Bellingham's history. The most versatile and the largest number of negatives we have are the 4 by 5s This is what Jack Carver worked with for many years. Jack Carver of the iconic Schools Out for Summer rotor photo and other ones. I mean, he was a, he was a Bellingham Herald photographer, correct? Yes, from October of 1945 to August of 1981. Long time. Long time, yeah. 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 So he had a lot of these 4 by 5s He did. He used a speed graphic camera, press camera. They're big enough that you can see them. Uh, just by holding them up, you can see what the image is, unlike a 35 millimeter, which you have to enlarge. And then it can be enlarged really big, so it's very versatile and yet small enough to work with. We have other large format negatives all the way up to uh, 11 by 14. Whoa! So 11 by 14, this came from a very large bellows camera. And these are a little more difficult to work with. Now I want to come over here and look at this book. It looks like something out of Harry Potter. Yes, this is the, the big book of Bellingham spells and magic. <laughs> nah. Ooh, you're going to open it. This is a 1913 Sanborn map, which was used for fire insurance purposes back in the day. And it shows every structure in Bellingham at the time. And it's color-coded, so everything in yellow is made of wood. Everything that's pink is made of brick and everything that's blue is made out of concrete. So a lot of the photos, obviously the older ones, are of street views, buildings uh, that don't exist anymore. And this allows us to find those places and give them addresses and describe them. What is your best aha moment thing when, when you figured out exactly what, was that, what that photo was? Well, I think, uh, the photo of the airplane girl, which is what people often refer to it as. It's been one of our most popular J.W. Sanderson photos for about 40 years. And for 40 years it had no identification. And one day going through the microfilm at the library, I came across that photo on the front page in 1928. And How did you feel when you saw that? Oh, my hair went straight up. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> what an what a amazing find. Did you I figure could out say, who she hey, was? that's Leona Campbell, and she's 18 years old, and she's taking flying lessons at Squalicum Field. And the reason she's on the front page of the Herald is because it's very unusual for a woman in 1928 to want to become a pilot, of all things. Yeah. So now we've moved on from the actual physical card catalog to an in-house database, right? Right, now we have Past Perfect, which allows you to actually put in a word, a name, a subject, and it will bring up the images on screen. So for example, someone here has looked for Grand Avenue, and by clicking on the results, it brings up a picture on the screen with a description. So they're paving Grand Avenue there. There's a jean company from the 70s. Yeah, I won't make anybody use the card catalog. This is much quicker and you can get a lot of searches in quickly, find lots of things, do more searches. Um, it is not available online at home, so you have to come down to the photo archives. Open to the public from Wednesday through Friday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., the Watcom Museum's photo archives are sure to develop a stronger connection to our past. For more information, visit watcomuseum.org. For BTV, I'm Deb Slater in Bellingham.